Hello everyone! Today, we will introduce the identification and control technology of Lepidopteran insects. Lepidopteran insects are complete metamorphic insects. The pupa is the object pupa. Adult mouthparts are a siphon type, larvae are chewing types, and their antennas are diverse. The butterflies are clavate, and the moths are filiform plumos, etc. The larvae are polyped. The main differences between adult butterflies and moths are as follows. Firstly, butterflies are diurnal and moths are nocturnal. Secondly, butterfly antennae are clavate, while moth antennae are filamentous plumos, etc. Thirdly, butterflies have broad wings. When resting, the wings are set up on the back of the body. The wings of moths are narrow, and when resting, the wings are flat or roof-shaped. Fourthly, the abdomen of butterflies is long and thin, but the abdomen of moths is stout. There are the following families of butterflies. Pieridae, medium size. The wings are mostly white or yellow, with black or red spots. The larvae are primarily green, with many small protrusions and fuzz on the body surface. Hesperiidae, medium or small in size, stout and dark in color. The antennae are dilated at the end and hook. Larvae have large heads and thin necks and are fusiform. Papillionidae, brightly colored, large body with wide wings, triangular forewings, the undulating outer edge of hind wings, anal angle often with caudate protrusions. Larvae are smooth and hairless. On the anterior edge of the prothorax, there is a Y-shaped stink gland that extends when frightened and emits an odor. Nymphalidae, the wing markings are bright and varied. The antenna is dilated at the end, and the foreleg is reduced to two pairs of legs. Larvae often have protrusions on the head and paired spines on the body surface. Satyridae, eye-like markings on wings. The larvae are fusiform, which resembles the shapes of the Hesperid larva. However, the head has two prominent horn-like projections and the ventral end is fork-shaped. The prominent moths that are more relevant to agriculture are the following families. Cossidae, medium to large, with a large abdomen, black mottled wings, reduced beaks, stout larvae, mostly yellow or red, feed on plant branches. Platelidae, the body is small, when motionless, antenna are anteriorly extended, with lance-shaped forewings and chopper-shaped hind wings. The larvae have elongated green bodies. Tortricity. Forewings are slightly rectangular and have mottled markings. When motionless, both wings are closed in a bell shape. Pyrality. Adults are small to medium sized with long slender bodies and pointed ventral ends. The antenna is slender and filiform, with the lower labipalps extending long like a bird's beak. Noctuity. Medium to large. With a well developed beak, forewings are mostly dark with horizontal stripes and markings. Hind wings are broad and triangular, mostly white or gray. Larvae are stout, mostly dark. The mantraeidae are medium-sized, stout, and beak-reduced, with thicker scales on the wing surface. When motionless, the hairy forelegs extend forward. Female moths have tufts of hair at the end of the abdomen, which are shed to cover the massive eggs when laying them. The larva body is covered with dense, long hairs of different lengths, in the form of tufts or bristles. Geometridae, a geometrid moth is also known as inchworm. The wings are large and thin. When resting, the wings are spreading. Ripple patterns connect the forewings and hindwings. The larvae have only two pairs of ventral legs. When walking, the body is in the shape of a bridge, contracting and expanding. Lionitiides' adult body is small, with narrow and thin forewings and filiform hindwings the fringe is long. Larvae burrow into young leaves to feed, eating them into curved tunnel shapes. Sphingidae are medium to large body, stout and fusiform. The antenna is filiform, thickened in the middle and bent at the end into a hook shape. The forewings are narrow and the hindwings are short. The larvae are fat, with a caudal horn on the dorsal side of the eighth abdominal segment. Lasiocampidae, medium to large, stout and hairy. It is named after it resembles dead leaves. Its larvae are stout and hairy. Psychidae, sexual dimorphism, male antennae are feathery, females are wingless, larva-like, larvae are obese, with well-developed thoracic legs, eating leaves and spitting silk. Next, we will study the control technology of lepidopteran pests, based on strengthening field management, improving the microclimate, and biological environment of the farmland. Use lights and food as traps, protect and use the natural enemies, and supplement with the necessary pesticide. 
Biological pesticides are Bovaria basiana, green muscardine fungus, Bacillus thuringiensis, sex pheromone, rhodonone, matrine, nuclear polyhedrosis viruses, etc. Chemical pesticides are chloranobenzamide, fluorodisamide, tetrachlorobenzamide, etc. Emamectin, emamectin benzoate, etc. Chlorphenapper, xiflubenzeron, methoxyphenazide, lufenuron, etc. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next lesson.